Welcome back to another week of Encounter. All, are all of you guys excited to be here? I know I am, because today we are going to be learning all about Saint Joseph. He is an amazing saint, and today is the day you get to learn so much more about him as a person and as the best saint. So before we start, let's pray to Mother Mary to help us understand more about Saint Joseph by praying one Hail Mary. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Three, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Praise the Lord, young disciples. Now we will be having a St. Joseph trivia session. So you guys will be answering questions about St. Joseph and along the way, I'll explain with you. So are you guys ready? Yes, give me a thumbs up. Yes, okay. So we're gonna learn more about St. Joseph through doing this trivia. So let's move on to the first question. Number one. Who was the foster father of Jesus? Answer in the chat, guys, and we'll see if you're right. Okay, I see some of you got. Yes, St. Joseph was the foster father of Jesus. So St. Joseph is the answer. Just like us, Jesus had two fathers, right? He had a heavenly father and an earthly father. So like us, we have all one heavenly father. And who's that? That's God, right? And on earth, we all have an earthly father. So for Jesus, his earthly father was St. Joseph. So good job to the guys who got it. Now we'll be moving on to the second question. Number two. What is St. Joseph the patron of? So just write, who does St. Joseph represent? See, families, fathers. Come on, let me see a few more. I know you guys know this. Yes, carpenters, good job, fathers. Yes, peaceful deaths, very good one. So yes, um, all of you are right, yes. There's so many right answers, right? Every saint has a patronage. They represent something in the church. And St. Joseph is the patron of fathers, carpenters, workers, and a happy death. So good job. These are just the main ones. So those of you who put like, I saw a church, families, that's all correct. So good job. Moving on to the third question. When is St. Joseph's feast day? I'll tell you, there are two feast days for St. Joseph, so either one will be correct. So I got May 19th, July 5th. Mm, guys are a little off, but good job for participation. March 19th, yes, I see the correct one. Okay, so some of you got it, March 19th. So March 19th is the feast day of St. Joseph. So that was the correct answer. But if some of you put May 1st, that would also be correct. And do you know why? So March 19th is the feast of St. Joseph as the husband of Mother Mary and the father of Jesus. May 1st is the um, feast day of St. Joseph as a worker. So as a carpenter, that's when we celebrate him as a worker. Now moving on to the fourth question. We have, where was St. Joseph born? Some of you might know this, some of you might not. Let's see what you guys got, Jerusalem, Bethlehem. Okay, I see an answer, good job. Give you a hint for those of you who don't know, it was where Jesus was born. So if you guys know where Jesus was born, 
Pretty sure you'll know where St. Joseph was born. But yes, most of you got it. Yes, Bethlehem. Bethlehem is the answer. So that's where St. Joseph was born. In the Bible, uh, we read how St. Joseph had to take baby Jesus to be registered in a city, right? And um, do you know why it had to be Bethlehem? That was because his father was from there. So when you read the Bible and you see Jesus was born from Beth Bethlehem, we also know that St. Joseph was born from Bethlehem. But later on, we read in the Bible that St. Joseph was raised in Nazareth. And guess what? Jesus was also raised in Nazareth. So see how like father like son correlation there? So if you guys don't know where Jesus was um, raised, he was raised in Nazareth, just like St. Joseph. If you don't know where St. Joseph was born, you'd look at Jesus. And Jesus was born in Bethlehem. So St. Joseph, you would know St. Joseph would be born in Bethlehem. Now, moving on to the fifth question. Okay. Who declared 2021 as the year of St. Joseph? Pope Francis. Okay, I see first answers. Good job, Pope Francis. Yes, all of you are right. It is Pope Francis. So this year is known as the year of St. Joseph. Every year we have a specific year for a specific topic, right? So we had the year of mercy. We had the year of Eucharist. And each year we get one of these topics so we can deeply reflect upon it. Because as Christians, each of these apply to us in our daily lives. And you may be wondering, how is it St. Joseph helps us, right? How can we deeply reflect upon St. Joseph's life? St. Joseph is known as the silent saint because we don't hear him talk in the Bible. But he does so much. He protects Mother Mary and Jesus from King Herod. And he always obeys God, right? He obeyed the dreams he got, the visions he got, the messages he got from God. So just like that, just like St. Joseph in 2021, even though during this pandemic, right, some of us might be virtual in school and it could be hard, but taking the role of St. Joseph and taking these hidden sacrifices and having compassion, kindness, and humility and patience will help us get through the year. So keep that in mind. 2021 is the year of St. Joseph. Moving on. To the sixth question, who, no, what jo job did St. Joseph have? I think most of you know, yes, carpenters. See, I see, I knew you guys would get this one. This is easy, right? So this is easy question. Yes, carpenter. St. Joseph was a carpenter. And now you also know why St. Joseph is the patron of carpenters. Because his job, he was a carpenter. Yes, yeah, St. Joseph was a carpenter. And most times, when saints are given their patronage, um, what are they the patron of? It usually has to do something with their life. Um, I know this saint who is the patron of teeth. And do you know why? Because uh, she died because all her teeth were plucked out. So she is the patron of like dentists and teeth. So each saint has their own special, unique thing. So for St. Joseph, um, St. Joseph is uh, the patron of carpenters and construction workers, right? Even if you're not a carpenter and you're not a construction worker, imagine uh, you're making something for your school project. Oh, Lord Jesus, I have to build something. Or you see a bird outside and you want to help it. I'm going to build a birdhouse for the bird. St. Joseph, I pray to you, and I hope that you can help me build the best birdhouse for this bird so it can have a wonderful life. So there are multiple ways you can pray to that saint because of a specific thing that they represent. Moving on to the last and final question, number seven, okay? Which flower is most commonly associated with St. Joseph? and often seen in St. Joseph photos. Mm -hmm. Getting answers, lilies. Yes, the correct answer is lilies. And do you, do you guys know why? I'm going to tell you a little story about this. 
why St. Joseph is usually seen with lilies. So St. Joseph, back back then, before Mother Mary got married, she was a beautiful young woman. She was so kind and gentle and every man wanted to marry her. Another woman, um, another woman would be so jealous of her, right? Because she was so beautiful and kind. And, but there was a competition among the men. Who would marry Mother Mary? They had to have a competition. So each man, they decided to get a stick, okay? And whichever stick gave off a flower first, that man, that man would marry Mother Mary. So St. Joseph, he picked off a stick, right? And this stick, you'd look at his stick and you'd go, St. Joseph, why'd you pick such a weak stick, right? It's so small and it was so fragile that you'd think it would bear no flowers at all. And other men chose these big, beautiful sticks that were so healthy that you'd think these sticks would grow the flower the fastest. But St. Joseph, being humble and patient, laid down this stick at the altar, right? And he went home. And everybody rushed over the next day to see whose stick had um, given off the flower. So they went inside the temple and they were looking at each and every stick. And so far they hadn't seen any flowers. And finally, they reached the last stick. And do you know whose stick that was? That was St. Joseph's stick. And it gave off a beautiful lily on the stick. And he got to marry Mother Mary. And so this is just a little story, right? We don't know if it's true or not. But this story says that this lily represents his holiness and humility and his marriage to Mother Mary. So that's what this lily represents. So that was all the trivia questions we had for today. You guys did amazing. Honestly, I was surprised because I didn't even know some of these answers. And you little children got it so quickly. So I'm very proud of you guys. And I hope you guys learned a lot from this because I did. So I hope you enjoyed this. And now we're going to end off with the tiny prayer of St. Joseph. So can we all close our eyes and fold our hands? Let's pray to St. Joseph. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. St. Joseph, we thank you for this trivia session, for today's encounter, because we know we're going to learn so much about you. And in 2021, we're going to be able to deeply reflect about you and connect our lives with you. Just as you protected Mother Mary and Jesus and the people who, who were given to your care, Lord Jesus, we ask that we are able to protect and care for those who are given to our care. Amen. Thank you, guys. Now we'll be moving on to the next session. Okay, young disciples. So next up, we are going to be learning a fun action song. And the action song is called Wake. So everyone, let's get out of our chairs. I know we're all comfy, but that's okay. We're doing it for Jesus. Okay, so we're going to be taking it verse by verse. So it might seem a little hard at first, but don't worry. Once you get the hang of it, it's super easy. So the first verse goes, at break of day, in hope we rise, we speak your name, we lift our eyes. So for at break of day, in, in hope we rise, we speak your name, we lift our eyes. So this verse is basically just trying to tell us that, you know, when we wake up, we should always be grateful to Jesus because he's the reason we're alive. So once again, at break of day, in hope we rise, we speak your name, we lift our eyes. Did you guys get it? Or do we need a bit more practice? Okay. A bit more practice? Okay, let's do it once more. At break of day, in hope we rise, we speak your name, we lift our eyes. You guys get it this time? Okay, moving on to the second verse. The second verse goes, tune our hearts to your beat, 
Where we walk, there you'll be. So for tune our hearts to beat, it's going to go tune our hearts to your beat. Where we walk, so just walk in place, there you'll be. You guys want to do it again? Okay. Tune our hearts to your beat. Where we walk, there you'll be. This one was really easy. Okay. Third verse goes with fire in our eyes, our lives. So for our lives, a light, it's going to go like that again. And your love untamed, this one's a little weird. It goes, you take your right or left hand, whichever one, I'm using my right hand, you put it on your hip and your other hand is free. So you kind of move backward like that. And for when you say it's blazing out, it's lifted up like that. So your love untamed, it's blazing out. So all together, with fire in our eyes, our lives alight, your love untamed, it's blazing out. Did you guys get that one? Maybe? Okay. So verse four is also really simple. The streets will glow forever bright. Your glory is breaking through the night. So for that one, you're basically going to make your hands into a fist and you're almost going to do this. And you can also leave it open like this. So you can go like that, or you can go kind of like that. So you just do that for the entire verse. So the streets will glow forever bright. Your glory's breaking through the night. Is it that one? Okay. So verse five, we're almost there. So you will never fade away. Your love is here to stay by my side in my life, shining through me every day. So that one, you're almost taking your shoulder and you're like wiping dust off of it. I know that's a really funny thing, but that's basically what it is. So you will never fade away. Your love is here to stay. And then by my side in my life, shining through me every day. So let's do it once more. You will never fade away. Your love is here to stay by my side in my life, shining through me every day. And after that, we hit the chorus and the chorus goes, you wake within me, wake within me. You're in my heart forever. So that one, you're going to take one leg. I'm using my right leg and you're going to step to the right bring your left leg to the back and then take your left leg and pull it out of out front again. So your two legs should be side by side now. You jump and when you jump, you're clapping. So right, left, left back, jump, clap like that. Right, left, left. Now both of them are side by side. Jump, clap like that. Do you guys want to do the entire thing once more to see if we get the hang of it? You guys want to try again? Okay, let's redo it once more with all the actions before we actually do it to the song. So, and if you really need to, you guys can type in the chat if you're having difficulty with any verses and we can kind of revisit those. So, at one second. Okay. At break of day, in hope we arise, we speak your name, we lift our eyes. Verse two, tune our hearts to your beat. Where we walk, there you'll be. Verse three, with fire in our eyes, Our lives alight, your love untamed, it's blazing out. Verse four, the streets will glow forever bright, your glories breaking through the night. Verse five goes, 
you will never fade away. Your love is here to stay by my side in my life, shining through me every day. You will never fade away. Your love is here to stay by my side in my life, shining through me every day. We're at the chorus now. You wake within me, wake within me. You're in my heart forever. You wake within me, wake within me, clap. You're in my heart forever. You guys get that? Okay, type in the chat box if you're ready to do it to the music. Or type in the chat if you're having difficulty with any verses and we can revisit those. up on a few steps. Do you guys like it? Okay, now we can sit back in our chairs. I hope you guys had a lot of fun with that. I know I sure did, even though I messed up on a few of them. That's okay. Okay. And now I want all of you guys to type in the chat box, what was your favorite part of the dance? Wow. And seeing you guys did a wonderful job with all of the actions and with the trivia, I got really excited. So now we will be entering into adoration, okay? So before we go into adoration, I want all of you guys to close your eyes. Can everyone close your eyes for me really quick? Super quick, just close your eyes. Today we learned about St. Joseph. We learned about his fatherhood. We learned about who he's a patron saint of. We learned how wonderful and righteous he is. He's the example of a perfect father, a good father, right? But just like St. Joseph, we have a greater father. And who's that? That's our God. Our God is our greatest father, the most powerful father above everyone else, right? St. Joseph took the image of God and implemented it in his own life. That's why he was such a wonderful father, right? So. When we go into adoration to visit our favorite father, let's all pray to this good, good father. Let's pray to him and ask for his intercession throughout our lives. Oh, sacrament, most holy, oh, sacrament,
arms open wide. And we remember your goodness. We remember your goodness in our lives. You're a good, good father. It's who you are. It's who you are. It's who you are. you guys to think about the words, okay? Blessed is the fruit of your Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving. 
be every moment thine. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanks be every moment thine. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Okay, thank you so much, young disciples, for joining today's session. I hope all of you had so much fun today. I know I did. And I really hope you guys learned a bit more about St. Joseph. So until we meet again next week, be holy and be on fire. Amen.